Welcome back to the KOM Morning News. Got a special guest joining us because uh, according to the calendar, it is that time of year. Lauren Slam. Lauren, thank you so much for joining us. Lauren is a public relations specialist for the Girl Scouts of the Missouri Heartland. Uh, Lauren, number one, thank you so much for your time. Number two, my calendar tells me that you're going to be a tad bit busy this time of year because it truly is a piece of Americana when we talk about the Girl Scout cookie. Absolutely. I mean, thank you, first off, for having me here. And yes, the cookie season officially started about a month ago on January 3rd, a little bit earlier than some other places in the U.S. Uh, we just like to get our cookies, you know, on the road. People people need them here, and, and we, we meet that need. And, and it, it's so interesting. Lauren and I were just talking earlier during the break that uh, she happens to be in the Springfield area joining us. Uh, remote, but uh, the Girl Scout cookie originating not too far away from either one of us in Muskogee, Oklahoma. Uh, so who knew? Now, Lauren, I know that people are going to have their particular favorites and their go-tos, and I understand we got some new things on the menu. But first off, let's kind of start. Let's, let's kind of start with our old traditional standbys. What do we have on the docket this year? So we have nine cookies in total, and we've got like your classic. Thin mints, the caramel delights, we have lemonades, peanut butter patties, the peanut butter sandwiches, and then two new ones. So last year we had the toastier, which kind of tastes like a French toast, mm -hmm. um, cat, like crunch, cinnamon toast crunch. Super good. It's nice in the morning. It's a morning cookie when you yeah. think about it. And then we have the brand new one this year called Adventure Falls, which is a brownie inspired caramel cream top sea salt accented cookie. And it is as good as it sounds. I think it says something very interesting in the fact that the Girl Scouts of America, they, they, bring, they bring out new cookies, new recipes. It shows the innovation. It shows what you're teaching these young girls and these young women as they move forward. What's kind of the process? How, how do you decide what goes new on a menu each year? So we just try and um, sometimes it's polls, you know, asking around. We just want to see what people aren't like buying because of their reason. You know, someone might be gluten free. And so we oh. created a gluten free cookie. Mm -hmm. And so we want to meet the needs of the people, you know, whatever reason they don't want to buy the cookies. We want to say, you know, you don't like chocolate. Well, we have a lemonade. And um, so there's really no reason to not support our girls uh, because they're working on ways to meet your needs every day. I think it's amazing the way you are able to transform and, and, and for your girls and for the general public who loves Girl Scout cookies. Now, coming off of last week, we know that Girl Scout cookies selling, it kind of got put on hold because we weren't going to have the kids tromping around in six to eight inches of snow with freezing cold temperatures. So I ask you this, it, it, I don't want to say it's a time of catch up, but is there like a, a kind of a one-stop shopping resource that if, you know, I just got a hankering for some and I, I got to go order some that I can find? Absolutely. Our girls are always thinking of innovative new ways of selling cookies. One of the ways that we've created um, without these or throughout these last few uh, years is the Cookie Finder app. So what you can do is you can go on your phone and type in Cookie Finder and then you download the app and you type in your zip code and it'll tell you the cookie booths nearest to you. And that'll start February 18th. So that's National Girl Scout Cookie Weekend. And so whenever, and the snow will be cleared away, hopefully. Yes, too. it will. So by, nice. by the 18th, we'll get it there. Okay, <laughs> yeah. that's the Cookie Finder app. And I go on there and this is how I do my pre-order of my adventure cookies, the new ones. And I, <laughs> yeah. I, I try to corner the market on the four states. Lauren, one yeah. last thing before we get out of here. Can you talk about the importance of what it means for your, not only your troops, but nationwide? Because sometimes we take the cookies for granted. We know the Girl Scouts are doing great things and we know they're going to come to our door, but sometimes we forget about the long range goals when it comes to cookie selling. Absolutely. So just supporting the Girl Scout cookie program teaches our girls such amazing entrepreneurial skills. This is the number one girl led entrepreneurial program in the world and it shows. Our girls are showing up, they're the future, and you're gonna see them in businesses, running businesses, in, you know, everywhere around you, you're probably gonna meet a Girl Scout. Mm -hmm. Like if you asked someone in the room, 
You're going to find at least one that was a Girl Scout, and it'll show. That's a very good point. You're going to be able to identify them probably through those leadership abilities that you all do such a good job instilling in them. Absolutely. Lauren Slam from the Girl Scouts of the Missouri Heartland. Lauren, thank you so much for your time this morning, and I know you've probably got uh, most of our viewers like Pavlov's dog right now. We're going to go find us some cookies. Remember, folks, uh, Girl Scout Cookie Week starts February the 18th. Is that right, Lauren? So it's actually now, but that's where the girls will be knocking on your doors right. and taking pre-orders. But Girl Scout Cookie Weekend the is app. the 18th. The and app that's, is yes, the app. App, the is, app is the 18th. Perfect. Thank you for that clarification. Lauren, so great to see you. You be safe out there, and we'll be back with more KOAM Morning News right after this. Thank you so much.